Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial with Lego Luigi. Now, today's tutorial is going to be on converting Word files into PDF files, which is very useful if you're trying to send stuff over emails or things over the internet or uploading things something on the internet because it makes it easier to understand, clearer, and it compacts the file so it's easier to send. Also, if you open a Word file online, sometimes it can get a bit messed up if some of the features aren't there. But whereas with Adobe PDF, that doesn't happen. And of course, it doesn't have to be Adobe PDF, it just has to be a PDF file. So let's get on to how to do this. First, we do is you open up one, so I've got one here, it's a nice one. Now, there are two ways you can go about it. I'm going to show you the first way. Well, the first way is you can go under File and go Save as Adobe PDF. Of course, if you have an older version of Word, this might not be like this, so I'll show the other way later that we'll have it like that. So now we're going to click on Save as Adobe PDF, and it'll come up as a place to save it. So I'm going to go into my libraries, no, my computer, I want to save it to my USB. Click on my USB, I'm going to go YouTube, it's going to go 11B to a tutorial on PDF converting. PDF converting underscore LM, so initials. Here I'm going to put up the top 1207. I like to do this because 12 is the year and 07 is a month. So I like to do that. So if I need to search for a file, I'm not sure the name of. Well, I don't know where it is, I just type in 1207 or 1206, depending on where it is, and the file will come up. That's how I like doing it. So here I'll click Save. And I should have saved as a PDF file. Yep, yeah, see, it's this thing comes up and it says converting to Adobe PDF. Now I'm going to pause recording for a little while, we'll wait for this to happen, because it could take a little while. Not here it is, okay, there we go. Don't worry about it, not going to pause it. Didn't pause it. I'm just going to wait a second and then it should pop up. It's loading. Yes, yeah, so as I was saying, yes, yeah, so as you can see, it doesn't have the usual mess ups you might have with a word file if you had to send it to another computer with an older version, or even a newer version that didn't have some of the stuff you had in your version. So this is a quick and easy way to do it, and you can quickly put it on the internet, and you can write comments and highlight stuff, and do all the sort of stuff that you can't really do via Word. So this is the first way to save it as a PDF file. Now I'm going to show you the second way. Second way, second way of converting a Word file into an Adobe PDF file with Lego Luki. So this is part two. I can just press escape. I'm just quite easy that way. So I'm going to click back on my document, and I'm going to go file, save as, and here on the drop down box, just like you would have if you watched my earlier video on converting PowerPoint into JPEG. It's the same sort of setup, so you click on Word document, this pop down box, it's will come down and you scroll down till you come to PDF, and you click on PDF, and then you just write maybe 11b2a.pdf, yep, it's going to do that, and we're going to go click on save, and that will save it as a PDF file. So see how you got these two PDF files. The second way is probably the quicker way. And it will work for most all versions of Microsoft Word. So, yeah, that should help you out. And so, that was your brief introduction and complete tutorial into how to save a Word file as an Adobe PDF. Make sure you follow, so when you're watching this video, click on subscribe at the top and like down the bottom. And also comment down below on your stories of converting Word into a Adobe PDF. And who knows, it might just feature in the next video. 
And also, another quick announcement, this is the night video of my channel. So the next video is going to be, you guessed it, the 10th video, which is a pretty big moment. So I think I'm going to do something to celebrate it. So we'll see more of that when the next video comes out, probably soon, even the next few hours or days. It depends on when this one is uploaded. So I'll see, until we see you next time, make sure you subscribe, like, so you get notification whenever I upload a new video. I'd also like to thank my other subscribers who remained loyal to me. So thank you to all of you, and I do. See you guys, and don't forget to check the back all the time.